Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we are going to see advanced feature of subledger accounting that is accrual reversals and multi-period accounting in Fusion Accounting Hub. So let's start with the accrual reversal. So here is the flow diagram showing the flow of accrual reversal. So it starts with the assigning data source to accrual reversal accounting date source accounting attribute. Then assign desired source to accrual reversal accounting data field in journal entry rule sets. So as we have already seen in our previous session that how you can configure the accounting rule. So journal entry rule set is one of them where we assign all the uh, description rule, account rules, quoting references, defined formula and journal line rules. These all are combined into journal entry rule sets, right? So this is what JERS stands here for journal entry rule sets. Then after that, we need to create accounting event and after that submit input accounting transaction process. Now accrual entry is valid. If this entry is valid, no, then you need to resolve the exception and again go back to this fourth step. And if yes, then the next question which arises is end date on or before accrual reversal date. If the answer is yes, reversal entry is created. Now there are two options when you are going to create a reversal entry here in draft or final, in which mode you want. So it is recommended to go for draft first so that you can review and can change if any error is there. So the, uh, then run the uh, reversal entry and after that review accrual reversal accounting entry. Now if end date on or before accrual reversal date, this is no, then go to reversal entry created in incomplete states. And then after that submit create accounting reversal accounting process to complete. Then the next question is reversal entry is valid. If yes, reversal entry is created in final status and uh, view that accrual reversal entry. And if no, then again resolve exception and move back to fifth step. So this is the uh, process flow of the accrual reversal. So uh, how we can give accrual reversal and at what date it is going to take and all we will see in the instance fusion accounting hub what is the relevant points which we need to cover. But before that, let's also go through multi-period accounting. So it is also an advanced feature of subledger accounting and it enables one to create accounting entries across more than one accounting period for a single accounting event. So here is the process uh, diagram of multi-period accounting as well. Like you need to first enter transaction with multi-period accounting date range. Fine, you need to give what is your multi-period accounting date range here. Then you can create accounting event and populate multi-period accounting start and end dates in transaction object. After that, you need to submit the create accounting process and a final entry uh, created for initial final entry created for initial entry. If the answer is yes, submit and create multi-period accounting process to generate multi-period journal entries. And if no, then draft entry created for initial entry. Yes. And then move back to the submit create accounting process. And if no, resolve the exception and then go to submit the create accounting process. And then again to this process, submit create multi-period accounting process to generate multi-period journal entry. So this is the process flow of multi-period accounting. Now here are the implementation steps which we need to follow. In our fusion accounting hub, like we have already seen, we can define custom formula. We can uh, define multi-period class, define journal line rules and these journal line rules and all go and assign to the journal entry rule set. And after that, the rule set is uh, assigned to the accounting method. So this all we have seen. And when we define a journal line rule, we need to assign a uh, multi-period class and custom formulas to journal line rules here. So basically while creating a journal line rule, we need to take care of the multi-period class and we need to give their multi-period. So there is the feature uh, multi-period accounting is available while creating a journal line rules in Fusion Accounting Hub. So now what we will do, we will go to the instance uh, under Fusion Accounting Hub and we will see how accrual reversal and multi-period accounting is taken care of in that Fusion Accounting Hub. So let's move to the instance now. So now I have logged into the in, uh, instance. Let's go to settings and action, setup and maintenance. 
objective setup, fusion accounting hub, functional area accounting transformation. Make sure in the scope your desired manner subject application is coming. So I'm going to show this feature of accrual reversal by using this subledger application setup. So it is already there in my scope. I'm just going directly to manage accounting attributes. As we have already seen in PPT, we need to uh, first see that accounting attributes of accrual reversal is there. So here you can see that accrual reversal accounting rate source is there and the source is first day of next accounting period. So it is there. Just save and close. Now we will go to journal entry rule set. So you can go from here, from task manager subledger journal entry rule set, or you can just go from configure accounting rule as well. Go to journal entry rule set. Now here you can see AHC interest accrual is coming. If you will edit it, you can see at a journal entry here. Accrual reversal accounting date source is coming in the and if you will see in the LOV, first day of next accounting period is coming. So what is uh, first day of next accounting period? The accounting date of the accrual reversal entry is the first day of the following accounting period. You can set this as first day of next accounting period, last day of next accounting period or next day as well, depending upon the requirement. So here it is first day of the next accounting period. So this is how accrual reversal date source and all is given here. Now for uh, multi-period accounting from where we can enable this option of multi-period accounting. Uh, first, I'm going to change my scope here for that. My scope will be ACH billing, save and close. Now we will go to journal line rules. So here, manage journal line rules is coming. Here you can see unearned revenue. If you will just select and edit the same. And when you will go to advanced option, you can see here multi period has been enabled and multi period classes also given here. Okay, so we need to give multi period and multi period class. It can either be added to the lookup task or you can use some of the multi period class that have been predefined. Fine, so multi period class, multi period is given like that. So this one. Is the journal line rule which is already created and if you want to create a new or just click on this add icon and you need to give all the details here and when you will go to the advanced option here you can see right now it is not uh, active but when you will give all the details and save it will get activated you can just enable this and can give multi period class here so this is how you can give multi period accounting you can enable this option here so this was all about the accrual reversal and multiple accounting in the fusion accounting hub. So this is all for today. Thank you.